Hello. So we are live at Kuni Galerie. Um, I am on my balcony and looking down and nothing's happening here. Um, and we will see to reach René. who is managing the storage. So always we have uh, we have a um, tour now. First time because so many people ask for it in the storage. Here's René. Shipping and storage related. So we wait for René. Oh, I switch off the comments. Uh, oh, and then you can ask questions after. One second. Hey, René, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jan. Hey, how are you? Good. How's it going? Um, good. <laughs> it's pretty empty here. I mean, full with artworks, but empty with people. So you want to show us around a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, we just got a big delivery of... <laughs> of um... Toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A little bit bigger, so it would last a little bit longer. Um, so this is actually bubble wrap because we... Pack Can you flip of... the camera? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, just a moment. Okay. Because we pack a lot of works here, obviously, for all the transports. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, right? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah. Super. So, right now it's like super full here with crates. Um, a lot of stuff came in, and uh, some works way to go out. Um, this is like a trans like transit area. Uh, with all the works which are supposed to come in and come out, uh, go out. So maybe you can tell the people a little bit how how the process is working and, and how big the storage. Maybe maybe we 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 start with a with a uh, overview. But can you go up with a camera? Maybe around. Um, flip, I mean, flip it again. Exactly, yeah. a bit up. So so this is one hall, right? Exactly. Uh, we have uh, the picture shelves here with all the flat work, we call it. Mm -hmm. um, bigger work, smaller works. And all the crates we have like in bigger shelves. You can only reach with the forklift. Mm -hmm. Everything on pallets. Very, looks very good. All the heavier stuff. And how many and how many aisles like this exist? Um, here we have like um, four big shelves, and um, and then we have like an area only with crates because. Ah, it's, uh, can you go back? Yeah. Can you go back? Ah, yeah. Because there we see Alicia Quadra's work. Exactly. It's an it's an outside uh, sculpture. And and but this is just because it hasn't been dissembled. Uh, uh, because that's not how it's stored, right? Exactly. This is not how it's stored. Uh, it came in. Uh, it was uh, um, it was shown. And usually, when something is shown at, at an exhibition, it comes here. We open it. Uh, we have very close uh, look. And uh, if there's any anything unusual, any damages, I write a report. Um, you have these apps, We have, you like have a team app, of right? art. You have an app exactly, to do condition reports, with an app, right? Exactly. Uh, we have an app uh, exactly uh, um, specifically for that, and uh, you can you can mark all the little damages if you want to call it and like that, and then you can say like, okay, um, it's damaged from like one to ten, and just thousands of little things you can uh, mark there, and then in the end it gives out like a report, and I send it to colleagues, and they decide what to do with it. Can you can you hold the camera into one of these tubes? Oh, absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, in, usually it stands outside and then it kind of reflects the entire uh, surrounding. You know, the, 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 the sky gets upside down. Uh, but we see that here a little bit too, no? The sky is like, if you look in, yeah, no. And it's uh, called Tunnel Teller by Alicia Quade. And it's kind of, it, it, it's not complete. There are like marble balls in front of it, marble spheres. And it's as if, as if like a Deus Ex Machina, you know, as if the 
machine spits out um, the world. Anyway, let's continue the tour. So, so this is on hold because because of of the of the blocka of the uh, of the quarantine. Exactly, exactly. So it's we just here had a, we just had a shipping meeting in regard to the exhibition in in Tokyo, which we wanna wanna proceed with, and also the one in London. We are we are continuing with, even we ha can't have have visitors here. But there's no there's nothing happening in New York. There's no in and out right now. It's totally crazy. There's no. Um, There's only like really essential uh, um, services, so there's no art shipping. Um, not completely. I mean, we we will have um, we will have um, transport to Tokyo today, but uh, most of it is indeed uh, it's not possible. Right What now. goes to Tokyo? Uh, we have some Anita Kalm works and uh, Alicia Quade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a sea freight. No, but I, I, exactly. what I was talking to was a was a shipping from from New York City to Tokyo. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, so so what else is there to see? So we have like I flipped the camera. So we have like all the smaller works here because obviously it's very small, so you wouldn't find them. I think I should say that this is not a digital storage. We write everything down by hand. Like we write everything down on paper because it's not big enough and we, have, we only deal with unique works. So they're not so easy to mix up. Um, but there are a lot. We have like, I think, 2,500 in the storage here in Siegfriedstrasse. And, um, How many storages we have in total? We have uh, two. Um, yeah. One here in Lichtenberg and one in Trento, and um, but the most works are here actually. But then we also ship. We we have storage with uh, shippers, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. um, a lot a lot of uh, bigger and complicated works are um, with shipping companies and their storages. They have like even bigger storages than that, and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we so we here we have like a photo area where we oh, do nice. all the. All the photos um, for the so we catalogs. see Katharina Grosse to the left, and Hürike to the right, and there's another Hürike to the left. Exactly. I can get closer a little bit. So usually in this area, we do um, not only the photo shoots, we also do the test installations. Uh, we usually get manuals from the artist studio. And um, for the fairs, we need some, sometimes we need to know um, how to install it. So we do like a little test run here. Uh, so we know what kind of tools we need or what we have to know about it. And uh, we do that in this area usually. Can we look a little bit at the, at the Katharina Grosse painting? Mm -hmm. this, this came back from, from a show in Küppersmühle, no? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. What's the size? Um, actually, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's pretty Approximately? big. Uh, it's, it's more than three meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one. This is these are the Hürdike works, which will go to the um, to M Munich. Munich, yeah. To the yeah. Hürdike has this big red perspective coming, and and to the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like a Berlin uh, construction site scene. Very typical Berlin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably in the 90s. Yeah, still a city permanently under construction. Yeah. Um, okay, and you were saying, so this is for photography? Exactly. Or maybe we see the outside, because it's quite impressive from the loading dock, right? We have a big loading dock. Absolutely, yeah. Let's go outside. So obviously, uh, when we show stuff uh, at the gallery, um, we get a lot of uh, empty crates. Um, which we have to store somewhere. So we have an outside area here 
with all the empty crates because we couldn't store them uh, at the gallery. Yeah. Originally, we wanted to build a storage in the gallery, but then the, the lower floor turned out so nice that we um, made it a viewing room. So it's it's the the flame the the floor beneath the uh, the table the platform was originally planned to be have a show lager, so to speak. Um, and um, but that was such a beautiful space that we turned it into a viewing room or sale room we call it now. And all these crates are empty, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. And where's all the work? Um, it's, it's in the, it's, yeah, it's everywhere, actually. Uh, most but of it is probably uh, with you in the gallery. But sometimes also we sell, we sell a work and the client doesn't want the crate and we keep the crate and try to recycle it, no? Absolutely, yeah. I try to do that very often. That's not possible because the sizes are so unique that um yeah you you, you can't fit everything uh, in it's like and then the the, the waste is even higher if you like if you if you put something smaller in a bigger crate yeah the the waste of the uh, everything money energy but, it's, but, it's, but, but it's i do higher. that you you can see that here i do like labels reusable, oh, reusable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah those yeah. are those are all like reusable crates, and then I look if I can find something to, to yeah, put in yeah. there. And but uh, we don't build these crates in house. Uh, no, we don't. Um, we work with uh, companies who build that for us, and I think for now that works pretty well. Yeah. Or maybe a, a quick comment on Hürdike again, because interesting with Hürdike was he 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 um, he was a teacher also at the um, UDK. And he started, uh, he was like the godfather of all these junge Wilde, you know, like um, Fetting, Middendorf. Um, and he started, this is a, a nude here in front. And he started to paint, not with oil, because he was, it, it, he, he didn't have, he said he didn't have the patience to wait for the oil paint to dry. So he was one of the first to use household paint. And I mean, this is a pretty, pretty worked out painting but the other one i think is very quick no it's like the the quick quick brushes and um, i can have i can go closer a little bit so you can see all yeah. the and um i think he's like 85 now and now he gets a real and, and thank god this show is not postponed at least at this uh, stage and is scheduled to happen is a very big retros retrospective in the Pinacothek da Moderne uh, in Munich and because he comes from Nuremberg, grew up in Munich but then he's really like a cr chronist of Berlin so he painted Berlin from the 60s uh, he was living in West Berlin actually he had a studio in our former gallery space in Dessauer Straße he was painting uh, the Potsdamer Platz when it was empty uh, when the wall came down, he painted the wall. He painted the time after the wall. Um, so he's really interesting. And actually one of the few real Berlin artists who spent over such a period of work because uh, Schoenbeck, uh, I mean, he stopped. Baselitz um, left Berlin quite early. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay, let's continue. Okay, um... What else can I show you? Um, yeah, we have like, of course, like a little office here. Um, usually it's like a, we work with a team um, of art handlers here. Which are you want to take that call? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I will do it in a minute. Um, oh, nice. Packing table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have the packing table here, like the center of the storage, actually. Like everything goes here and then... Um, yeah, and then we send it into the transport. Can you go a bit higher? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But isn't there, there's a second space too, no? Yeah. Um, when we started renting the, um, this warehouse, uh, this Oh, and there's closed. the prints in there, what we just saw? Yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So we have also smaller works here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. yeah. And more crates and stuff which is not in crates. Oh, I love crates.
I have I have a, almost like a great fetish. Yeah, oh, actually, um, <laughs> <laughs> since I. Since, since I'm here, I, I got really into this uh, aesthetic of crates and, and packaging. It's There's so great works uh, of art, you know, referring to, uh, to crates in art history, like Art Schwager, Engren and Draxet did an amazing crate sculpture. Um, interesting. Oh, wow. It's a very nice ceiling we have, huh? Can you look at the ceiling? I like this concrete uh, ceiling. I think it's very typical for the 60s uh, GDR. It's typical for the Koenig brand. <laughs> Everything is concrete. <laughs> okay, and, and this is one room, and the other one? Um, this is actually the second one. Uh, you didn't see it, maybe. You have like this like hole in the wall here. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is like, yeah, this is like the, small, the smaller room, and the bigger one was here. Okay, I think we need to sell some more art. Huh? It's pretty full. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Exciting that some stuff goes out, but right now everything is on hold. So it's a little bit, um, it's very stuffed right now. So people As watching, buy art, <laughs> buy art from us. <laughs> okay, cool. So, or maybe, shall we see, look at the other side also? The other loading dock? It's, we have, a, it's mirror, um, right? That is it's empty. Exactly, but that is empty because uh, we need it for uh, for transport. We need it empty. So and how? Oh, it's completely empty. Yeah, I Can keep it empty. <laughs> or is it tricky to get out there? No, no. And 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 what's your impression on the whole um, the logistics? It kind of it it very slowed down, no? Oh yeah, absolutely. I can feel it. Um, usually it's super busy here. We have four to six people working at the storage every day. And um, yeah, right now it's, it's slowed down so much that I can actually do it by myself. But hopefully everything goes back to normal um, very soon, actually. Oh, wow. The loading dock here and oh, another and one nice. there. And we have electric forklift behind you. Absolutely, yeah. To reach the, the yeah. shelves. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks so much for showing us, and um, keep up the good work. And uh, fingers crossed, things uh, get back to normal soon. Or maybe not. Absolutely, not yeah. necessarily only normal. I think maybe there will be positive upsides from this. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Okay, Jan. Thank Ciao. you, René. See you.